This video from Casio Help, we're taking a look at receipt header message programming on the SRC range of cash registers. So I've got another video explaining how you can do this via the smartphone app. This is how you can do it manually through the register itself. So we're presuming that you've seen our previous video where we've replaced the default graphic logo with the default text logo. And we're now going to show you how you can edit the text logo to be personalised to your business. Um, there's a couple of things you need to do this. You obviously need the PGM key because all the programming is done in the program mode. Uh, you'll also find the manual pretty useful for this. Um, pages 55 to 57 will demonstrate how you input characters and also how you get um, punctuation. So if you put in a website or a telephone number into your header message, you'll need to know how to get the punctuation and also how to get the numbers. But I'll cover that in more detail as I go through what I'm going to program on my receipt header. What I also find helpful if you want the uh, information centered on the receipt is to actually write out um, what you want to appear on the receipt header message. So on the Casio tills, you get four lines as your logo text message. I'm going to program three. If you're using the default font size, then you can have up to 24 characters per line. If you're using the bold size as Casio uses default, then you only get 12 characters per line. If you want them centered, then you need to calculate how many spaces you how many spaces you're taking up and then also how many spaces to insert at the start. So that's what I've got two spaces at the start of each line here because all my um, lines take up 19 characters. So we're two spaces in the start and three at the end. That's as close to centered as I can get it. Um, if you're happy with it left justified, then you don't have to worry about that. You can just get on with the programming, which is what I'll now do. So key to PGM. The other thing you'll need actually is the alpha overlay, which is in the little plastic bag where the manual and keys would have been. So I've already popped that under the wet cover just to make it easier to enter the characters. When you're in PGM mode, you need to head down to message setting and press CA amount 10 to go into it. And then it comes up with the default logo one, two, three. So what's in here is currently what you get in printing out on your receipt headers. So to edit line one, you press CA amount 10 to go into it. And then there's a delete button here on the decimal point button. And then if you delete all the existing characters, you know exactly where you're starting with. So this is now where my grid comes in handy. So I know I need two spaces. So the space button's here. I then also want to put my Casio Help top line in double size characters. So there'll be a button on the register that'll say DBL size. And it's located here. Now you know you're in double size because the big bold A has replaced the small A. So if you're ever unsure as to whether you're entering double size or normal size characters that's your way of checking so now you literally type in the description or the name you want space is here and then once you're happy with what you've typed in you press cash amount end and it will nudge you uh, back to the main logo message and you can see it's also printed out Casio help so that looks pretty good there so we're happy with that so then we arrow down to logo 2 CA amount 10 to go into it delete the default text that's already in there and now we can take a look at what we want to program on line 2 so again we're starting with two spaces now we want to enter lowercase characters for the website and they're going to be small characters so we're going to make sure that we've not got the double size on, which we haven't. So the lowercase, I mean, there's a couple of different ways of entering. Actually, you can use the shift button here um, to put the double size in. In fact, this is what I'm going to do. So if you press shift, you've got lowercase here and it stays lowercase. So you can just pop it in there. The old school way of doing it would be to use the buttons here. So if you use these to get the lowercase w, you would have to press the number three button nine to, uh, five times because it would go through the capital letters first and then the lowercase but on this machine because we've got a flat keyboard it's actually a hell of a lot easier to do it that way um, 
decimal point looks like it's that button there we'll try it now we need to go back to the caps because it's in on the white background no so we need to delete that one so where's the full stop or decimal point there we go so that is your decimal point that's worth knowing I mean it looks exactly the same as that one but it's on this button here 52 so now we can go back to entering lowercase letters by pressing the shift key and then we want the website in there shift sorry caps to get the decimal point and then back to shift for the lowercase nothing like the old school way of doing it messing around with an app if you've made a mistake like I've just done delete is here that'll take you back so I'm wanting to enter that so I need to be on caps then I enter it and then I press shift again to go back to the lowercase this wouldn't be easier on a phone would it okay so there's the website entered so cash amount 10 to save that you can feed it through a bit if you want to see what it looks like check you've spelt it correctly I mean, you can check there as well but that looks okay to me looks fairly centered as well so then we can arrow down to logo free ca amount 10 to go into it and then the delete button here so if we refer back to what i want to appear on there so i've got a made up phone number on there two spaces to start because i want it centered and then we're going for capital letters so i need to be on caps here T E L T E L and then I want a dash after a space a space dash space and then to pop my number in the numbers are all on here just like the letters and they're all on the white background so just like entering the um, uppercase characters I mean, this is a lot easier than um, on the raised keyboard machines where you have to put all the numbers in on on these keys here. Once you've entered your phone number, cash amount 10 to save. You can go down and program LIGO 4 um, if needs be, but I'm just happy with three characters or three lines on there. So when you're done, subtotal, back to the main settings menu, and then you turn the key back to reg and let's get rid of that programming receipt the next time you process a transaction we've got post receipt set up let's pop the sale through post receipt there we go we've got our casio help www.casiohelp.co.uk and then the made up phone number on there so that's how you edit the default description the as i said there is a video showing you how to do this on the app there's also a video showing you how to get rid of the default graphic header. If you want to put your own graphic header in to replace this one, check out the app video as well because that will show you how simple it can be done from a phone. Um, yeah, so there's video links appearing on screen now which you can check out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.